Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have some pretty interesting news to go and cover over here, where it does kind of seem like a really big PlayStation 5 game is now finally betraying the PlayStation universe, and it's actually going to be coming over apparently to Xbox. We're going to talk about that, some really big Assassin's Creed news too as well, some Miles Morales news, and just a bunch of really cool stuff when it comes to UK sales and everything all in between. So we're going to talk about this, talk about some good news, and talk about some drama going on when it comes to games. So if you guys will sit tight, relax, and enjoy. And as well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribe with those notifications on we have the twitter and twitch room down below if you guys want to follow we'll have all the amazon links to the console currently still up on sale let's go and dive on into the video itself and i would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below so very first and foremost i'm sure you guys have heard of a pretty pretty popular and pretty pretty well people were kind of assuming pure playstation 5 exclusive game known as with the beloved character as a cat straight now I'm sure you guys have seen, because they actually did get quite a few different uh, like awards, there was a lot of just media attention, a lot of actual reviewer attention, game journalist attention, and overall, I myself played the game, it was pretty fun, it was pretty cute, and who doesn't like just playing as a cat and just enjoying yourself and doing a bunch of puzzles? It was a very, very good, wholesome game. But now, apparently, this is one, like, a big, big PlayStation 5 game a lot of folks are looking forward to. One big thing to know is that it does seem like it's now coming to... Xbox. Now, this actually is a little bit surprising to some folks. We also saw some folks as well making comments and being somewhat concerned slash excited for it nonetheless, where a lot of folks are like, hey, cool. Like, we finally get to go and see this game come into Xbox. But as well, all the really big PlayStation 5 enthusiasts were a little bit on the somewhat sadder side, just on the usual console back and forth, where a lot of folks are just, well, sad. They basically had a chance to go and have a PlayStation 5 exclusive. They kind of thought the game itself was going to be staying on PlayStation. I'm not really sure. I'm one of those folks where, as long as you have a chance to play the game on any console or any game, I don't think I really mind at the end of the day. So, basically, uh, uh, Blue 12 Studios' cat-based adventure game Stray has now apparently received an ESRB rating, so it's like just like the rated E for everyone, type rating so if you guys want to release a game on a separate platform on pc on steam or whatever you basically have to well go and apply you have to make sure you're on top of it and for this one it did seem like they applied for it on xbox suggesting it's time as a playstation 5 console exclusive could now be coming to an end and it did seem like playstation really did go and try to turn out this game quite a bit they had it on playstation plus on their uh, extra tiers they did a lot of media attention for it and it was overall a very very good game so it's spotted by vgc the new listing on the Entertainment Software Ratings Board, or ESRB, websites rate Stray for the Xbox One and Xbox Series, surprisingly, at the same E Everyone for 10 Plus rating as the PlayStation and PC versions. So there, as of right now, there has not been an official announcement when it comes to Annapurna Interactive or for Microsoft, so we haven't seen like any tweets. Game Pass from the actual company itself, though the ESRB rating on the Xbox version certainly suggests that it will be existing, mainly because, like, why would you go through the effort, spend the money, time, or waste a company's time for a game like that if you just aren't going to, well, release the game? So a reveal could come during the June 11th Xbox Game Showcase, which would also make a lot of sense, too, as well. They're getting all the stuff, like, preemptively prepared, having other people involved in it, like, having it approved, and then if it's all approved, they can maybe do a fun launch or add it to the Game Pass or whatever they want to go and do during the June 11th Showcase case or as well maybe during the summer games fast although it probably makes sense to maybe go do it more on the xbox if it's more xbox focused but as you guys can even read in the article and apirna is actually a official partner and we don't think we have any other games lined up for them so this is an adventure game in which players assume the role of a stray cat trying to escape a mysterious city i uh, read the ratings poster on the esrb website from a third person perspective uh players transverse alleyways rooftops and rooms while solving puzzles i'm sure you guys have seen it uh, like i said i played on my twitch stream too as well so it's kind of cool that even IGN gave it an 8 out of 10. I'll probably give the game like a, at least a 7 out of 10. It was pretty good. Uh, I wish it was a bit longer and a little bit better. But I mean, for like a general game, it, was, it wasn't like the usual $60 price tag. It was cheaper. I thought the game was great. I think it's worth checking out. Especially if this game does end up going up on Game Pass. I do think it's going to be really cool. Now, as I mentioned... Some folks, for God knows why, well, I'm usually more on the laid-back side when it comes to what games or whatever, mainly because I'm just older and I have the money to go and afford it, so thank you guys always just for existing, I guess, if you guys watch my content or ads or affiliates or whatever, that does allow me to go and help out my gaming addiction, so thank you guys always for that, I always appreciate that. Uh, but for me, I'm one of those folks where I don't really mind if PlayStation exclusives end up on Xbox, or if Xbox games end up on PC, or, or whatever might end up in just being. Like, I really 
can kind of go either way. I really don't really care. So, but some people are obviously upset about it. If you're a PlayStation fanboy and you really care about that one or care about the exclusives or whatever it might go and be, yeah, it's a big deal. I think it's a big, big drama, at least in my mind. So, uh, some folks are upset. Some folks are angry. We saw some people, obviously, when it comes to Twitter or Reddit and all these other various sources, which they're always upset no matter what. I think most of my community has been pretty chill when it comes to games or stuff like this. But yeah, some folks are sad. Some folks are upset that they're going to lose it or maybe they got even a PlayStation for more specific games like this. But at the end of the day, I like the, you can still play the game. You can still buy the game on your PlayStation or PC. I don't think it's the biggest deal. And of course, exclusivity deals usually after a year or so do kind of swap around. We sometimes see the Xbox Game Pass games end up on PS Plus or on vice versa or same like a PlayStation 5 game ending up on Xbox. Like I think at the end of the day, it's totally fine. It's not a really big deal. So I don't know. I think it's kind of cool that we're seeing more game wide variety. But of course, people are always upset with this one. And I do recommend Stray. It was overall a pretty good game. Now, it's some pretty interesting stuff too as well for other various side games. Number one, for some industry news. Uh, apparently seven months now to the PlayStation 5, uh, the Xbox Series X and X has finally passed 2 million sales in the UK. Which is funny because the, well, Xbox has not been doing the best all around globally. It's been doing overall pretty good though in America. So now Microsoft has now sold 2 million Xbox consoles in the UK. So combined sales of the two consoles passed uh, the 2 million milestone this week after 128 weeks on sale. By comparison, the PlayStation 5 passed the same milestone last October after only 98 weeks on sale. So basically, the PlayStation still has been kind of zooming in comparison to the Xbox itself, which is kind of surprising nonetheless. I think there like just hasn't been as much global interest in Xbox. But once again, I usually kind of put that down towards just PC. Uh, people still want to be in Game Pass regardless, or maybe it's just not as ingrained in the culture as we had for the Xbox 360 here in America. So sales data from the numbers company GFK, published by Eurogamer sister site Game Industry, Biz shows the Xbox Series X and S as one of the slowest recent consoles to hit the 2 million milestone compared to the other machines from Nintendo and Sony. The Wii was the fastest hit 2 million in the UK after 57 weeks, which is phenomenal. And as well, you guys have probably been hearing a lot of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which I've been playing up on Twitch. If you guys are bored, go follow up with the Twitch and stuff. Uh, but basically, a lot of folks have just been loving the game. It's been flying off the shelves, flying off the digital downloads, and I've played myself. It's very, very good. And as well, also on top of Sony's PS2 after 60 weeks, the PS4 took 75 weeks, and the PS3 took 98. And then Microsoft's previous two machines also fared better, kind of showing that the Xbox Series X and S is still a little bit of a flop in comparison to all the other consoles. I still think it's a great console, though. So with the Xbox One taking 104 weeks to hit the 2 million in the UK, while well, the 360, funny enough, took 110 weeks overall. So a good caveat here, though, is that the Xbox Series X and S was supply constrained at launch, though not to the extent Sony suffered with the PS5. After 2 million sales, the PS5 has also earned the most revenue, 919 million, given the Xbox Series X and S is lower, it's around 700 million as well, plus also the Xbox Series S is also a little bit on the cheaper side. So the Xbox Series X and X does outpace the Switch to man sales, though funny enough in the UK, as Nintendo's hybrid console got off to a relatively slow start following the Wii U generation as well. But funny enough, I'm sure you guys can tell now the Wii uh, Switch has definitely popped up very, very big when it comes to overall sales. So always intriguing to know on that one. So some really good Assassin's Creed news, because I'm actually hyped up for the upcoming games as well. Ubisoft is actually planning to increase the number of Assassin's Creed developers by 40%. So the uh, company has at least six new entries in the long-running series, and as you guys probably know, when it comes to this stuff, uh, number one is that the Assassin's Creed game is kind of the bread and butter of Ubisoft. Ubisoft's been a little bit on the sketchy side. Uh, Ubisoft's been a little bit scary. They've been laying off some folks, shutting down some side studios, and canceling a lot of different types of games. So it's almost kind of nice to go and see that Maybe good news that they're going to invest so much more money into Assassin's Creed, get more people in the game industry, and maybe even be able to cycle around some folks in other different parts of Ubisoft into Assassin's Creed itself. So basically, you have at least six new entries in the game, so they want to get more developers and coders. And during the company's earnings call, Chief Financial Officer Frederick Dugret said around 2,000 developers are currently working on Assassin's Creed out of a total workforce of 20,000. The number is therefore expected to rise to around 2,800 over the coming years, which is great news. Like We like seeing this too as well, with the increased headcount achieved by reallocating people from other franchises, according to Guillemont, which I would prefer this. Like They know Assassin's Creed makes a lot of money. I'd prefer if they put a lot of time, money, and effort into just developing these games and like mobile games and general games, etc., to let people keep and maintain their jobs, because we're seeing a lot of layoffs overall in the gaming industry 
all over the place. We never like seeing that overall. So we did hear that we'll be seeing a lot more Assassin's Creed games. Some folks are rumoring around the fall time too as well. And at the end of the day, I do like it. So there is another six upcoming Assassin's Creed games planned up for this one. We have uh, After Mirage. We have some codename Red and Hex. And they're also going to have a cool like Assassin's Creed Infinity franchise hub too as well. And we just have like the remakes coming out too on top of this. So we have some pretty cool news coming out at least for this one. So give me your thoughts and comments on all the ongoing drama and everything else in between. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notification on. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. If you guys want to follow, we'll have the Amazon links too as well for all the consoles. Give me your thoughts and comments all down below. And I appreciate y'all so much for watching.